Hi, Velasco here from Last Money Magazine with another unboxing video and again it's Prog and it is Van de Graaff Generator and the first album, the Aerosol Grey Machine. I've been after this for a while but I would never have got it if I hadn't have gone on my Van de Graaff Generator journey. I bought a couple of albums many years ago after hearing, um, I think it was Killer on the Tommy Vance show and then I bought... Um, what was it? I can't remember. Oh, it's Porn Hearts. And because of the track called A Plague of Lighthouse Keepers. But I found it quite tricky because it was more, it wasn't really guitar orientated as such. But it was when I bought this, I dived in. This was my box set of the year in 2021. The Charisma Year 70 to 78. Which got me on a journey. And I remember seeing in that booklet, it mentioned this, but it wasn't included. Uh, and then Cherry Red, marvellously, produced this very recently, uh, Interference Patterns 2005 and 2016, and there's more Van de Graaff generated June 2023. So the first album was something I kind of thought, shan't I, shall I just buy more, more, more CD, or it seems a bit extravagant to buy a giant box like this devoted to one album. Um, but I have, and I'm really pleased that I have. So before I go on, I'm going to show you what's inside this box. So here we go. Van de Graaff Generator, the Aerosol Grey Machine. This is the 50th anniversary limited edition, the deluxe box set of their classic debut album. Two CDs featuring the original album with rare bonus material, including two previously unreleased demo recordings from 1967, the complete November 1968 uh, Top Gear sessions, including previously unreleased Octopus and Both Sides of the Rare People You Were Going to single, a lavish illustrated book with previously unseen photographs, memorabilia and cuttings, and an essay by journalist Sid Smith incorporating interview with Peter Hamill, a facsimile 180 gram vinyl album housed in the impossibly rare withdrawn UK gatefold sleeve, and a facsimile single of the rare 45 single You Were Going to Be Firebrand, and a poster from 1968. So you've got the information on the back, CD1, CD2, bonus tracks and the vinyl album. Let's dive inside and see what you get. So this is a proper hard case cover. I'll come to the booklet last of all. The original album cover is being used as a gatefold to house the two CDs, which are very easy to take in and out. And in here, hiding in this cover if I can retrieve it so the back of the cover is basically the same as the original vinyl is a as I say facsimile I like the way they've done this esoteric they look like Polydor with um, a bit of dust on there but I'll, I'll clean that later people you're going to because I haven't played the single yet and firebrand place that over there so that's the kind of like replica of the first album which is great. Oh, oh, sorry, I gotta forget. And there's also a poster as well um, from the time with the rocket going off the aerosol grey machine. And then the the rare and withdrawn cover is used for the actual vinyl. I think this is fantastic period piece. And there's the, the original gatefold sleeve and the notes on the back. And this includes the, if I can retrieve it, I can. And the original vinyl album, well, so, as, it, as it is. And it sounds absolutely fantastic. It really does. Um, absolutely superb. Um, anyway, but I'll review that when I come to the next part of the video. So the other part I want to show you now, just isn't that fantastic, is the booklet which is a softback book, but I think it's fantastic that so much attention to detail has gone into producing this for one single album. Um, and I'll just quickly flick through it, but it's been put together, I say this dates back to 2019, but the amount of detail and love and attention is typical of Esoteric and Cherry Red Records. I think this is just exceptional. You know, for a fan of this band or for if you're getting into British prog and you want to go back to the, the dawn of, of this movement of music, 
then this is an essential purchase to me. It's a lovely piece of social history. As I flick through it, you can see the photographs and the press clippings. And it's a fantastic essay. Peter Hamill has been involved all the way through. Um, and it, it's just an absolutely superb um, piece of art, really. It really is a nice shot there from the things that were also coming out around the time. Um, and, that's, and that's it. So it's good, isn't it? It is, isn't it? You know, esoteric, cherry red. The attention to detail on this, you know, proper, a proper box. Um, you know, 50th anniversary, super deluxe edition on one album that wasn't even seen as a proper Van de Graaff generator album. It was Peter Hamill solo album, just learning his craft as a songwriter. And then it became Van de Graaff generator. But I love the attention to detail as you've just seen. You know, the, the withdrawn original cover which is beautiful and their gatefold sleeve great pressing um, and the fact that they've turned where they're going to house the cds into the original gatefold sleeve so clever and the single that's included you know the font they must have at esoteric you know that's would have said polydor and they've redesigned the font used the same font to say esoteric and of course a booklet devoted to just single album and it's marvellous and even the obligatory poster as well musically this is achingly beautiful it's it's not dense complex prog but it's not commercial music but it just it feels like a, an autumn day and they're walking you're walking through the park and the leaves are dropping from the trees and the few ducks on the lake and you it's frost in the air and you can see a out breath as you breathe out and there's just this music in the background. It's this. It, it sounds wonderful. I play this a lot. Not had it that long. But each time I play it, I just fall in love with it even more. As we move towards the second side, um, it becomes more prog. But didn't prog in those days have two key ingredients? Hammond organ, flute. <laughs> Nearly everything had that. This is more flute orientated in places. But again, it just evokes that that English pastoral music that you know that prog was so some of the kind of more um esoteric shall I say or adventurous music that came along from undergraph journey isn't quite hasn't quite been percolated yet in this this is this is more song orientated but Peter Hamill's voice is also coming to the fore but it is really 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 a great album so after I bought it, did I think I could have just bought the single CD and be done with it? No, no, not when I've got these other boxes, Van de Graaff Generator. Um, and it's it's that thing that without these box sets, I wouldn't have become such a big Van de Graaff Generator fan. I might have dabbled with a few CDs here and there, but I wouldn't have gone further than that, really. But this is what box sets do. They give you an opportunity, as I've said before, to, to dive in and go to a level of understanding and listening that wouldn't really be possible by just by streaming or even putting on a single album. Um, you know, the, the background story, hearing the musicians talk about what was going on. Of course, this is the 60s. You know, they must have thought, you know, and all the literally and then it's the word esoteric again you can see what esoteric look look at release the stuff they do but back then everything was esoteric about you know but the, the musicians were studying eastern religions and mythology and and you know experimenting with stuff and, and it's all it's all in here it's a very magical time and so having the back the backstory gives that extra magic to the album so i can't do anything other than recommend this um it's about 40 odd quid and for a, for a single oh, you can pay 35 pounds for a single vinyl album now anyway and this is the vinyl album two cds a giant book a seven inch single and a poster in a box um and i think that's i think that's a great bargain to be honest and of course i love it but stream this album um even if you if you're watching this channel and you just bumped in you don't know anything about this kind of music stream this 1968 um, it's like going in a time machine um, and it's bringing it back to the future but that's the great thing about streaming stuff like this is that it's all now isn't it and then you can go away and own the album 
So before I disappear, um, make sure you check out other playlists and, and, and video reviews and unboxing reviews and album reviews and features that are on are on this channel. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on anything. And if you'd like to get more involved and, and see even more exclusive material, then become a patron. So thank you for watching. Take care. Remember, music is the healer and the doctor. And I shall see you on my next video.